Hey guys, welcome back. And before anyone starts wondering, this isn't the video for today. This is just a reflection video on last night's live stream. I kind of wanted to just talk about some things that went well, some things that didn't go well, and some plans for the future, and also maybe pick your guys' brains on some things that I'm not quite sure of yet. I guess we'll just start with a really quick backstory. I've been vlogging and making YouTube videos for about six and a half years. Yesterday was the first time that I've ever live streamed, and it was a really awesome experience. I think I'm hooked on it. It's something that I want to make a permanent part of not only this channel, but my vlog channel as well. Just had a ton of fun. If you see me looking down, in this video, I have my computer here because I made some notes last night. I'm probably like the only person that's ever analyzed their live stream and how it went, but this is what I kind of came up with. So the first thing that kind of came up and the first issue that we had, and I don't know if this is common across every live stream, but we had a lot of inappropriate and racist comments in the chat section, which kind of blew me away because I look at the comments on this channel every day, and it's just nothing but good people leaving very kind comments. And then I, I, it was just, the whole chat was just getting pummeled with all kinds of spam and stuff. And luckily I was able to add some moderators very quickly and they seem to get that taken care of. But speaking of chat, that was something that kind of overwhelmed me a little bit during the process too. I was looking, like at any given time, we had like 150 to 200 people watching the live stream and the chat was just getting just hammered and I couldn't even keep up with the, you know, what was going on there. And my big goal with doing the live streams was to be able to communicate with people and I found that I wasn't really able to do that very well because everything was just going so fast. Some people recommended that I put it on slow mode, which I tried to do later in the, in the stream. I'm not sure if it actually worked or if it helped at all, or maybe things just kind of slowed down a little bit because of the, the people that got blocked. And while we're on the topic of people getting blocked, this is a question I have for other people that have live streamed if you're watching this. Do people stay blocked for future streams? Because I would really hate to do another stream and then have the same people come back and do the same thing again. The same thing for moderators. I picked a bunch of moderators in the very beginning, like I said, and I'm hoping that those people can stay moderators so if they come back and watch future streams, they can block those people as well. So again, if you're watching this, you know anything about permanently blocking people or permanently making moderators, that'd be really awesome if it just stayed that way. While we're talking about the chat and comments, the one thing that I, I think I need to do better in the next stream is kind of direct the conversation because again, I couldn't even keep up with what was going on there. So I'm thinking maybe the way to actually communicate with the audience is to give them a prompt, like I bring up a topic that we can talk about and then I can look through the comments or if I have you guys ask me questions and I can just pick a question out of there. But I think just to kind of let it go naturally and look and try to find something. It's just very hard to do and I don't think that's really gonna work. The next thing, and this is something that you probably could tell made me a little uncomfortable yesterday in the stream was all these donations that I got. There were people donating like crazy. In fact, I wanna give a special thanks to everybody that donated. Here we have Brother from Another Brick who donated multiple times. I think he donated like $30 or more and that's just, crazy. I really do appreciate that. We have that top fan, 1718, High Lego Mania, Lego Freak, Anthony Luye, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, David the King, and uh, Ungameable YT. We also have Faniel Spaniel, and then a couple other people who uh, it says it's deleted. So all those people donated, and I really appreciate that. What I've decided to do with the money is I'm going to save everything up. I'm keeping track of everything that I got, and I think yesterday's stream it did like $80. So I thought would be really cool and a great way to give back with that money is I'm gonna save that up and what we're gonna do is maybe collectively we're gonna pick an awesome Lego set, like a bigger one that I wouldn't typically buy, maybe like a hundred or two hundred dollar set once we save up to that level and then we'll use that for the live stream. And then any future donations that I get from those live streams, I'm gonna take that money and we're gonna do the same thing so it's just gonna be a constant cycle where I use your guys' donations for something positive. Instead of just putting it in my pocket, I wanna put it back into the channel and it'd be really cool to buy something great. Again, I kind I want to leave it up to you guys what we get since you're the ones that donated it but what I'd really love to do is maybe get like the diner or something I think that's like 160 170 dollars so we're like halfway there and if I could save up the money through donations to get that and then we'll build it like you know over several live streams so let me know what you guys think about that idea I just think that's probably the best way to handle the whole donation thing and then I don't have to feel so guilty about taking the money from people I guess I feel like I don't really deserve it you know it's got a couple more topics to talk about uh, the one that I wanted to see what you guys think about is the length of the live stream Last night's live stream I think went for like an hour and 22 minutes, which I felt like was a little long. In fact, my wife actually kicked me off the live stream if you watch the end, but it was kind of just karma because I kicked Clark off the live stream. I just think it would have been funny if we ended it with just Roxy live streaming and her just like sitting there and just let it keep rolling. That'd be so funny. I was wanted to know, should I do like maybe like live streams that are shorter increments, maybe more nights a week, or would you prefer like a weekly 
live stream where it's like an hour or two or three? Or do you want to see like 30 minutes every night? I'd like to work something out where we get into a schedule. Should I just keep it maybe shorter or longer? I don't know. I'd like to see what you guys think about it. Again, this is my first time live streaming. In fact, I did two live streams yesterday. One is a test that was like, you know, and then last night's, which overall I think went pretty well. I wasn't quite happy with the quality of my uh, iPhone. I am upgrading my iPhone from an iPhone 6s to an iPhone 8 very shortly. So I think that camera is going to be a lot better. It really couldn't handle these studio lights that I have down here, unlike this camera that I'm using now. So everything seemed like really washed out or kind of like over contrasted, but I'm hesitant to turn those lights off because I think it'd be too dark. So let me know what you thought about the quality. I felt like the audio was okay. I do have an external microphone, which I'm using on this camera. And I was thinking about putting that on my iPhone, but then I was worried that we won't have any audio and that would just be a mess. So again, it's just gonna come down to a lot of experimentation here, but I thought by making this video, I could reflect on the live stream that I had. Maybe it could help other people that are thinking about live streaming as well by looking at the comments here, because I wanna use every piece of knowledge that I can gather to make this a really awesome experience for you guys, and also just make it easier for myself. Looking at my topics here, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Again, thank you to everybody that was live last night with me, I, and I tried to answer as much stuff as I could. We did get into a pretty good Q&A session there for like the last half hour, but I was trying to also make it somewhat entertaining by building a set. I'm just going to get better over time. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you again to everybody that donated. And again, your money is going to be going to a good cause because I'm just going to put it right back into future live streams. So uh, that's it for this video. Stay tuned because I'm going to have another video up here for you this afternoon that should be pretty cool.